Hey there, I'm Jess Bud from the Marketing O'Clock podcast, and this is a marketing tutorial on how to use Screaming Frog to check for broken links on your site. So if you're not familiar with Screaming Frog, it's a pretty amazing tool that crawls your site and you can use it to do a ton of things. And I do not have time to talk about all of them. And today I'm only going to talk about one. And if you're familiar with Screaming Frog, this should be a pretty straightforward task. The interface looks a little bit complicated, but it's really just because the tool can do so much. So we're going to focus on one thing today. And again, that is how to use it to check for broken links on your own website. So I've gone ahead and I have already crawled marketingoclock.com just to see if we have any broken links. And so once you perform a crawl, this is, I'll call it the home screen where you just get a list of every single URL that it finds in its crawl. So where I like to start, obviously with looking for broken links is looking for 404 pages because how is the tool going to find that there's a page missing? By crawling a link to try and get there. So in this table here, you can just sort the status code by 404s. And we can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, unless I counted that wrong, nine 404s that um, Screaming Frog encountered again when crawling our site. So now I know I have, oh my gosh, the number's right here, nine broken links to contend with. Cool. What am I going to do with that information? Well, this is where the tool gets really, really handy. So the first thing that you can do is pick one of the URLs that you want to look for. So again, this is the URL of the page that is 404ing. This is the link to this page is what I need to fix. So once you click on that URL in this address column here, it opens up another detail window down here and you can do whatever you want. There's a whole bunch of different tabs with more information about this page. But what you need for this process is to switch to this in links tab. And this will show you all of the pages that are linking in, in links, to that 404 page. Again, this URL is just query parameter P equals 14292. That's the thing that's 404ing and it is currently being linked to from one page. And this is probably a bad example because it looks like just a preview page, but we can still understand the process by looking at this. So again, this is our 404 page and this is the page that's linking to it. Now, if it is a proper page with a lot of information on it, this may not be enough for you. It may be hard to dig through and find that broken link. So we can take this a step further in the Screaming Frog interface and scroll over here. This is a bad example because I got no anchor text. Let's pick a different page. Ta-da! All right, this one, episode 65, we were talking about a Google bug and Facebook controls, and apparently we are referencing that somewhere else on the site. And when you click on that link, it's going to a 404 page. So that's pretty bad. But we can see here what the anchor text is, and it is literally just the whole link. But that's helpful because then you can do a control F on that page when you're in the CMS, find that anchor text, or in this case, just that link, and replace it. But if there were multiple pages linking to a 404 page, you would have all of this information for every single page in the list. So if three different pages were linking to the same dead page, all using different anchor text, or if they were linking from an image using different alt text, you would be able to see that in this table. And it is very, very handy. I apologize for the bad examples, but we're pretty clean with managing our site, as you can see. We should clean up these nine links, but not that crazy here. But for huge sites or sites with a lot of lengthy content on pages, this can be an absolute lifesaver in uh, fixing issues with the user experience. So very handy way to use Screaming Frog and super, super easy. You can also export this table. You can select multiple pages at a time, get a nice little table down here and export the whole thing if you want to turn it into like a checklist in Google Sheets or something to track your progress, make those changes, and then recrawl the site again to make sure that you didn't miss anything. But very, very handy and hopefully this helps. And if you found this useful, there are a bunch of other tutorials like this one over on our YouTube channel. That's Marketing O'Clock on YouTube. And we also have a weekly news show with all the digital marketing news for the week. You're probably gonna wanna subscribe to that too. That's our podcast, Marketing O'Clock.